Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Law, Parks Yoga, and check us out on all of our platforms. Well, the lead story has to be Tucker Carlson got the video footage from Kevin McCarthy, all the raw footage, and he did a show about it last night. And what does it reveal? It reveals these people who are serving four years in jail being escorted through the Capitol by police officers. It shows Officer Sickman in a complete wonderful state of health. It shows Epps trying to lead an insurrection. Folks, this was not an attack on the Capitol. And you know what? It just, let, let, let's, let's put this in the same long list category of everything else that Trump was in bed with Russia, that Russia interfered with our elections, uh, everything relative to COVID. I mean, the American Communist 10 have lied to us, covered up, and done so much. It's truly amazing. It's truly amazing. So anyway, I just want to just share with you uh, that we're, you know, we're supposed to believe everything. They've been proven a liar. Look, look what happened with Twitter. We found out about Twitter and all the things they did on Hunter Biden. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. How anybody could vote for these people after all of this, it means one thing. You're just part of it all. You're just part of it all. You're okay with it all. You're okay with all the lies relating to all of it. Sick. China has spy cranes at ports. Does that shock you? I tell you, China just, they just go on. I did the show yesterday on China. You can check it out. The laundry list of everything with China. <laughs> As my buddy, Dr. Melman, wants me to use. DHS maintains secret domestic intelligence program. Really? Does that shock you? It's unbelievable. Our government has made us the enemy. That ain't the way it's supposed to be, folks. Novak Djokovic isn't going to get to play again in a tournament in the United States because of COVID. How messed up is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. The people in England didn't mind him playing, but the human beings in the United States are different. <laughs> they require a vax. <laughs> it's insanity. Insanity. This guy can't play. T Wait a minute. He doesn't have contact with people. Aaron Rodgers didn't get the vax playing football. Kyrie Irving didn't get the vax playing basketball. Djokovic can't play tennis where he hits nobody. <laughs> Michelle Obama said she, God, I can't stand this woman. She said she cried for 30 minutes before leaving the White House. This woman right here hated this country, becomes first lady, sapped it for all it's worth. Just sapped it for all it's worth. Yeah, she cried because she wasn't going to have that platform anymore. But it didn't matter because she's filthy rich. Karl Rove, this guy, I hate this guy. Loathe this guy. He is a Bush guy. Bushy all the way. This guy is telling Trump to move on. You didn't win the election. He's telling the guy with a 38-point lead in the Republican primary to move on. <laughs> Screw you, Rove. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Coming up next is Bulldog TV local news. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Bulldog TV Local News. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Law, Parks Yoga. Check us out on our plat all our platforms. Well, our top story is a political action committee has recently spent $600,000 for two-week buy against Daniel Cameron. The PAC accuses him of being soft on the drug war. Very interesting. By the way, these packs, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, 
It's all part of the problems. The dark money packs. These packs go after it. It's the way the it's the way of the world is. I'm I'm doing it without accepting pack money. I'm not asked a pack for money, nor am I setting up a pack to do my dirty business. I'll do my dirty business alone. And law and crime. Ohio Department of Natural Resource Officer Austin Snyder is charged with shooting his parents in Union Township. Snyder was under the influence when he shot both his parents in the arm through a locked door. Thank God it was the arm. Police arrived and found both parents and took Snyder into custody. A Cincinnati Citizens Board has offered 10 suggestions on how the city and police handled George Floyd protests in 2020. Among the suggestions is a re recommendation for the city to end the practice of mass arrests during protests. Over a 10-day period in 2020, over 500 people were arrested for violating a citywide curfew. In local news, a recent USA Today poll ranked Maysville, Kentucky as the best southern small town in the nation. The city is known for its small town charm and its historic river community. Okay, also, my alma mater, NKU's Chase Law, has been named the top law school for innovation and business in the U.S. Wow! The program was noted for its creative and impactful programming. The survey evaluated law schools nationwide with Chase beating out schools like Harvard and Fordham University. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, try hiring a recent graduate from Chase and see if they know how to practice law. In Kentucky State news, damage from last Friday's storms and tornadoes is widespread across the state with five Kentuckians losing their life. So, so sorry. Governor Bashir is expecting Kentucky will qualify for federal disaster declaration for public assistance. 64 counties and 19 cities declared emergencies during and after the severe weather turn. Recent research has produced some alarming numbers when it comes to Kentucky miners in the central Appalachian area. The miners are eight times more likely than the general population to die of respiratory diseases. The Appalachian Belt winding through Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia faced the most severe risk in the nation. In Ohio State news, the Ohio Senate is proposing a major overhaul for its medical cannabis program. They screwed it up from the beginning. The new proposed bill would give regulators the opportunity to open more marijuana-based businesses in Ohio. Current businesses involved with the program are not happy and think the new approach could overwhelm the market. They wanted to control the market. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is focused on ways to help children and families in his proposed two-year budget. Among his potential changes, DeWine has proposed a $2,500 tax deduction for people with kids. And in sports, Newport High School in Northern Kentucky is canceling their baseball team and season. Not enough students interested in playing the sport. And by the way, we are in full-blown Sweet 16 and, uh, high school basketball tournament stuff and we will cover it on our sports show this coming Sunday. I want to do one more shout out. Uh, Clay Allen Stretch apparently was a big supporter of mine and friend. It was brought to our attention from somebody that he was. Uh, he passed away. God bless you. Rest in peace. Thank you for being a member of Bulldog Nation. We'll miss you. Clay Allen Stretch. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Coming up next. Jamie Spindley in his World News. Good day, Bulldog Nation. Today's World News. Japan was forced to blow up its new rocket during a failed launch earlier this morning, setting back efforts to crack a market led by Elon Musk's SpaceX. Dozens of bushfires burning across Australia's east coast could get worse as severe heat waves continue after two years of rains and floods a return to warmer conditions has sparked new south wales state's worst fire since 2019 black summer fuel deliveries have been blocked from all french refineries as protesters aim to bring france to a standstill over plans to rise the pension age from 62 to 64 the strike has begun everywhere Mexican officials have found more than 340 people in an abandoned truck trailer in Vera Cruz, including 103 miners. The migrants were from Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador and Ecuador. This is one of the largest recent discoveries of migrant children traveling through Mexico. And in sports, Brentford beat Fulham 3-2 in what was a thrilling game of football in the English Premier League last night. Until tomorrow, stay safe and have a fantastic day. 
Cheers.